It could have been worth ten thousand pounds. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And you leave it in your mouth. <laughs> Keep it in mind. <laughs> so let's check it out. Hopefully, I don't blow away. And then I told him, maybe, maybe we do a little wee. I'm not the only one going in here. Beth, that we're riding on. Actually, I'm walking all the time. It's just, man, it's not doable with the bikes. Welcome back. In the previous episode, we explored the hilly south of England. In a few weeks, our plan is to cycle up into Wales, then back into England again and ride north to Scotland, where we'll finish in Edinburgh. This week's episode starts somewhere in the fields of Somerset, where we meet a very interesting character. Eric is now behind me in the land, asking the farmer if we can maybe use this land for the night to pitch our tent. Because most of the land here in England is owned by someone. We do wild camp, but we only do it in very secluded places where we don't disturb anyone. It just feels very good to have somebody allowing you to, to stay there. Um, and you feel relaxed, you know, you can cook something and uh, yeah, you can just be there and, and, and feel good about it. So let's hope it will work out. I just asked the farmer, such a sweet man, if we could stay here on the, on the land. He is now making these rolls. And he said, yeah, it's just fine. I'll leave no uh, trace, don't burn any fires. And then I told him, maybe, maybe we do a little wee. And he said, oh, okay, no problem. Many, many hundreds and hundreds of years ago, there was a church. And they always said it's haunted, this field. They always... I know I, I had a friend of mine that is into all this ghost hunts and all that and he came out here one day and he said he could hear voices. So we should be careful tonight. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> might, he might get... We might get some ghosts yeah, here. Yeah, voices, you know you've got something wow. to think about. Some Roman ghosts. Yeah, but no, they, but the Romans, though, they were strange because what they used to do is somebody died, they'd dig up the lounge floor and bury them in the floor in the house. In the house? Yeah, and they found the bodies. If you've got in Bristol Museum, there's 700 of our Roman coins in there. And I know one day my dad was out in the field and we were hauling all the manure and dung out across the fields and after a while you keep driving in the same place you get ruts for the mm -hmm. tractor goes. Yeah. Yeah. and you see the cleats on the tires yeah thanks dad there's mud on the tires and he must have sunk in about this deep he stopped to have his lunch my dad and he thought he'd have a pee so he is that against the tractor having a pee yeah. and he looked on the tire and he looked again and you can see something glistening where it like scratched on the and that was a gold um coin it's amazing and he found this gold coin and he's there, and he sort of rubbed it off, took it home, washed it off in the kitchen sink, chucked it in the fruit bowl on the kitchen table, left it in there for years, didn't think anything about it, didn't even that bother, because it's, it's everywhere, this moment and stuff. Anyway, we had a cleaner and a nanny come to look after us, and she bloody nicked it. And it could have, it could have been worth, like, well, I don't know, 10,000 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we're now here at the field of the farmer only on the top of the hill. There is a sign here with no access, but the farmer told us if you want to get up, the view is beautiful, get up there, just chuck over the fence. So yeah. we have permission, but it's this barbed wire fence. Yeah, so we have to have a little chore now to get uh, our stuff over and then hopefully there's a flat spot for us to stand. But seriously, it is stuck in my pants. Oh yes, oh, that wasn't too, oh, too quite difficult. Easy. I'm going to look for a flat spot. I think this spot here might be a good place. All right, long flux textile. What a wonderful day, so many wonderful people. And uh, yeah, the, the farmer, he was so nice. Yeah, we talked about absolutely everything. Yeah, and then some. So we're now here, we're gonna put up the tent. You know how that works. And uh, we're gonna show you some more in the, in the morning. Oh, they're too afraid. Bye. We almost reach Wales, a place we were dreaming about exploring for as long as we can remember. We heard that the weather should be even more unpredictable and the hills even steeper than before. Just when we were about to cross the Severn Bridge, we heard someone call Eric's name. We were recognized by a cyclist couple who invited us to come and stay at their home. Yeah. That's nice. That's good. 
With carrots. Everybody loves carrots. <laughs> Big decision, do we put the tomato sauce in or not in? Okay. I have to pick out the carrots so you don't have to have carrots. <laughs> no, no. Okay, go. There we are, the plate is super hot. Thanks so much. Who would have thought we would have seen you on the bridge yeah. in yeah. Middle Old? Cup of coffee. We just came down here on the table. There's delicious breakfast. She even made her own bread yesterday. It's beautiful. She said she learned to make it in lockdown. Yesterday I tasted Marmite peanut butter for the first time in my life. Very addictive, super delicious. And today I'm going to try the normal Marmite. So pure on the bread or? No, pure first. Oh, yeah, yeah, teaspoon, yeah. just straight off the yeah, knife. Yeah. Like oh. a little bit like this. <laughs> and you're not allowed to wince. That, that, yeah. No, you're not. No, more, more, okay. more, more. More? Uh, more? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Like the, this? Yes. Yeah. Now you have to just, and you leave it in your mouth. Spaghetti bolognese, uh, chili con carne. Oh, yeah. just. We're just cycling away from Ben and Caroline. Wow. I mean, we had a great evening and it really shows me that hospitable, interesting and warm people are everywhere in the world. And this is the best thing about bicycle touring, meeting other people and yeah, broaden your perspective, you know, I don't know going into a tunnel so see you later Ooh, looks like a dark one mine a gentleman uh, told us about it and we're now actually here so it's super interesting to see uh, behind me here you see these piles of rubble probably they dug out the whole side of the wall here to get to the best iron ore we're cycling up an old railway line so the railway line used to hold the ore uh, to the to the different parts of the country here uh, Great Britain of course the place where the industrial revolution took place and iron ore uh, for railway lines for building of bridges and all kinds of industrial complexes uh, very important so it's very special to be here right now and get a little sense of how it was in the old days sun coming through, rain, all types of weather in a day and we're 
on this gnarly path. Uh, some guys called it the old Roman road. Man, it's really rugged and uh, it's very difficult for cycling, uh, but it's beautiful and uh, it's not too steep. So let's see if we can tackle this. Not sure how many kilometers we've made, but I think it's not more than 25 today and it's almost five o'clock, I guess. The surroundings are amazing. I just spoke to some people that they actually train the special forces here because of the weather. It's so unpredictable and it can really be four seasons in a day. Uh, well, we can attest to that yet. Sunshine, rain, sunshine, rain, sunshine, rain. Luckily, it's not too cold. The landscape is just amazing, but these rocks, man, it's difficult terrain. Feels like work, folks. Man, it's so windy up here, but for once we have tailwind, which is really nice, and the road is improved, so get going. at where we're coming from, from the, this pass over there. It's just insanely beautiful with the view over here. But the path that we're riding on, actually I'm walking all the time, it's just, man, it's not doable with the bikes. Brecon beacons or Brecon bridges, still forgetting the name always. But uh, yeah, we're a little bit early. It's a pretty windy location, but it's beautiful. And I'm just climbing to the top of this hill to check out the view. I mean, the view behind me is pretty amazing. But I also want to see the other side. Ah, luckily, there's a little bit of sunshine. So let's check it out. Hopefully, I don't blow away. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Please, 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 please do it now because it really helps out our channel. And we want to say a massive thank you to you all. Yeah, because you have been sending messages and inviting us into your homes in the UK. And that's been absolutely fantastic for us. Yeah, we are really thankful that we have such a cool and supportive community behind us here on YouTube. Yeah. We would like to say have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next video.